case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In the 1993 case Phelps v. Field Real Estate Company, the United States Court of Appeals for the Tenth Circuit examined whether an employer had illegally discriminated against an employee due to their HIV positive status. John Phelps, a former real estate manager, filed a lawsuit against Field Real Estate Company, asserting that his termination from the company constituted a violation of both federal and state laws prohibiting discrimination based on disability and interference with employee benefits. The situation unfolded when Phelps's boss found an anonymous note alleging that Phelps had a fatal blood disease, which Phelps confirmed as accurate. Although his boss promised to maintain confidentiality, Phelps worried about the implications for his job and health insurance. Despite receiving a positive annual review, Phelps was ultimately dismissed, ostensibly due to poor performance and department restructuring. In response, he filed a lawsuit seeking relief under ERISA Section 510, which prohibits discrimination against employee benefit plan participants, as well as under a Colorado law barring handicap discrimination. However, the court found that there was insufficient evidence to support Phelps's claim that his termination was due to his HIV status. Instead, it concluded that the decision to let Phelps go was based on a legitimate business reason, the need to reorganize the department, and not an intentional violation of his rights under the laws in question. Ultimately, the higher court agreed with the lower court's ruling and dismissed Phelps's case. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lsc.law, elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.